Whilst Darren is busy with Julian, we should get on with this review. Yeah, yeah, good idea. <laughs> Since the release of the first Animal Crossing 12 years ago, the series has won the hearts and minds of many gamers. New Leaf for the 3DS is the fourth entry into this charming series. The game begins with your character sitting on a train with a one-way ticket destined for a new home. When you arrive, you're mistaken for the new town mayor and get swept up in the enthusiasm of the animal townsfolk. And then, before you know it, you're sitting in the mayor's office writing the town's theme tune. I'm back! Ah, ah. Your first assignment as the mayor is to choose where you would like to build your house. Welcome back, Darren. Thank you. I chose to build my house by the sea so that I could enjoy that cool ocean breeze. And look how I decorated my home. The table is made entirely from balloons. Tray chic. Yes, well, once you've properly moved in, you can apply for a development permit, which allows you to start moulding your village. Though it's a good idea to chat to your neighbours to gauge what people actually want, and your trusty assistant Isabel is always ready with advice. Yes, she is absolutely the brains of the operation. She'll come along with you to help scout out areas for development and give you an idea of what it's going to look like when it's complete. Over time, your town will start to grow. When you spend certain amounts of money in stores, the shop will expand and have more items to sell, which, of course, you'll want to buy, and then the store will get bigger again. <laughs> and you keep yourself busy with the basics, like tending to gardens, catching bugs, digging up fossils, and fishing. You then sell your collected items to the alpaca shop owners for the local currency, bells. You can use these bells to purchase clothing and accessories, fund new buildings, improve your house, and pay Catton to take you on a ship and sing you a song. Marjo, the real purpose of paying Cap'n is so that he'll take you to the Tropical Island Resort? Yes, it's nice to see him return to the series. The Tropical Island is home to a whole bunch of new vegetation and wildlife, but it's also where you go to access a bunch of multiplayer mini-games. I liked the multiplayer aspects. I especially liked hopping into someone else's world and picking all their fruit. <laughs> mine. Mine. That's mine. Fruit, fruit, fruit. Unlike the other games in the series, the villagers now interact with the world by shaking trees or entering other buildings. It makes them feel more alive. Yeah, one time I'd scheduled a meeting with my friend, but then I forgot about it and I genuinely felt like I'd let him down. I found it frustrating that you had to pick up your 3DS at specific times of the day in real time because I've got a lot of games to play, Hex. I can't always be worrying about this one. It's not fair to the other games. Well, the game actually runs off your 3DS's internal clock, so the time of day in-game reflects real life. You can alter the time to make in-game time line up better with your lifestyle, but that kind of breaks the illusion that our world is parallel to the Animal Crossing world. There is a wonderful focus on trivia. You can carry an encyclopedia with you at all times so that you can check up on various creatures and fossils that you've come across. After spending some time donating to the museum, you can walk through the vast halls admiring all the displays. Look at all the sharks I caught. Look at them! I love the fossil display. They're all real dinosaurs and they each have a plaque with some fun, interesting facts about the creature. I thought it was a great way of putting real-world knowledge into the game. What are you going to give it, Hex? Well, I thought it was wonderfully charming and I just got sucked right into this world. I'm giving it 8.5 out of 10 rubber chickens. I'm giving it 7.5.